Hola mis amigos and possible amigas, my name is Taffrey16 and welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are going to be reacting to Tracy Beaker Returns, which is the sequel to the original show Tracy Beaker, of course, that I reacted to about a month ago? Month ago? That sounds about right. So the basic premise of this, from what I've been able to gather, is, uh, well, the show came out or premiered about eight Wait, no, eight? No, I think like six years after the story of Tracy Beaker. So I imagine it's sent, it's it's set around that same time, if not longer. I'm pretty sure Tracy's an adult. And uh, this is the third episode of the show, which I'm going to be reacting to. Apparently in the first episode, Tracy like tried to publish a book, but she used her friend's credit card and got arrested. And then to pay her friend back, she had to go, she has to go work at the children's home she used to stay at as a kid. And that's basically where we are. So it sounds good. Um, it's the same actress as Tracy, just six years later. I'm excited for it. Let's watch it. All right, all right, all right. This is going to be about 27 minutes around there. And by the way, I know what you're thinking. You see it in the top left. You're like, wait a minute, this is the BBC. It is, but it's CBBC, technically. And I don't usually get problems from them. So I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's do it. Is that Tracy right there? Yeah, or is that her? I mean, it's, that's the same girl as before. Mr. Colum yet? Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Look, the main thing is not to be afraid oh. of the deadline. Don't watch the clock. And suddenly, out of nowhere, you'll get that light bulb moment. I was waiting for the light bulb. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. House looks freshly painted. It's just a chance to meet up. Bad luck, boy. Sure. You know, see how you get on. Tracy, do you remember that social worker telling Toby about Mr. and Mrs. Scott? Very nice couple? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're coming to meet him tomorrow. I mean, we'll wait to meet them, but they might want a faster Toby. Exciting, isn't it? Fantastic news! <laughs> Toby don't look so happy. You look like you'd rather get fostered by crocodiles. Do you know what I'm saying? They're really nice. Yeah, sure. So, what's the problem? Problem is, it's bound to go horribly wrong. Why? You watch. From now on, everything I touch Oh No, Toby, think positive. If you want something to go right, it will. Nah. Seriously, what do you want to happen? Right now? Mm-hmm. Breakfast. <laughs> right. Well, let's make you the perfect breakfast. In this place? Uh, think positive. Now, what's it going to be? Boiled egg. Proper soft dippy egg. But not snotty. Four minutes twenty. Jeff is gonna eat so Blaze it. Harry, can you not get milk on Jeff, please? Four minutes twenty-seven. <laughs> I'm on it. Go, Liam toast. Oh, oh, no, you're good. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's, it's okay. That's just flying for the air. It's gonna be fine. Ah, ah, what the fuck? How? What? Oh, okay, that works. Cool. Balled out. It's hot though. Yes. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Yeah. Big rip. I told you from the day I was born, I'm jinxed. Damn. Uh oh. She had an egg sized light bulb. Sapphire, this just ah, came. Ah! He's good. <gasps> oh! So <laughs> we'll probably even go backstage and meet Dizzy and his crew. Who know? now and what it's now? It's gonna be so wicked. Two tickets, which are worth like loads anyway. You know I so have to go, yeah? No. 
Why? No way! You know why! You are joking me! Look, let's not go through it again! Damn! Oh, hey, you! Big rip. What's going on? You lot, stopping me from going to the gig. Ooh. It's like being in prison. Wait! I'm not stopping you from going anywhere. Why won't Gina let you go? Because she doesn't want me to see my dad. Well, she must have a reason. Wait, I can't help you if you won't tell me what's going on. I am on your side, Sapphire. Sapphire? That's a pretty name. I'm not gonna change my mind, Sapphire. Sure she will. She will. Yeah, if I tell you, just be on their side. Try me. The last time I went out with my dad, I stayed out quite late. Because he was packing up the gear and everything. How late? Look, it wasn't that bad. How late? Call the police late. And that's uh. why Mac and Gina won't let me see him. Because you stayed out too late with your dad? There must be more to it than that, Sapphire. The thing is, I kind of accidentally got on the tour bus just to speak to my dad. But then I fell asleep. Well, that could happen to anyone. Exactly. Mm. Which makes me think there's still more to it. Yeah, there totally is. Well, if you don't trust me, then... <sighs> All right. Bill it, sweetheart. Customs man found me. What? He was checking for passports and saw me under these coats. Passports? Look, I didn't know we'd gone to Amsterdam. I was going to sleep on the ferry. <laughs> Big rip. The thing is, though... I just wanted to be with my dad so much. I can feel that. But now, they won't let me see him. And it's so not fair. It's okay. I can feel that. Sapphire told me what happened with her dad. You've got to let her go and see him. These kids spend their lives away from the people they love most. But those people aren't always the best for us. That doesn't mean we're not allowed to see them. <sighs> but her dad, to put it mildly, isn't fit to take care of her without supervision. He's a drunk. Have you seen her yet? A dipshit. A hooligan. An all around no do gooder. Read that. In fact, read all of them. The fact is. We're the ones who care for Sapphire. Would you let her see her father on her own? I don't know. You can see that point, though. Well, should I rip these up, then? No! Don't do that. Oh. You want them? Yeah. Well, it's so obvious. Sapphire, I was trying to help you. Well, anyway, you can't stop me. <laughs> what? Well, I'm gonna go no matter what they say, and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, you Don't want to fucking back bet? In my face. You never said what your dad was like. <sighs> Sapphire, don't go. It's about building up trust in Mike and Gina. With me. Yeah. Well, you don't have to go on. Look, I'm not going. Satisfied? She lying. Lying ass. You going. Don't stress about it. I'm not. You've got to own the field, you know what I'm saying? You've got to let them know you're someone spectacular from the start. Do you want to practice? And which of your five foster parents did that work best on? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, do you want to play football? You want to play football? Oh, thanks. That football's going to go in the tree, isn't it? I don't want to play. I've just messed it up. You'll be great. He's just kicking the ball around. Right. You and me versus them. One mile, one formation. Go down the right flanks, switch to the left, across it in, head the top corner, yeah? <laughs> oh, just forget it! <laughs> I'll mess it up anyway. The ball will burst, or you'll hurt yourself! Don't be stupid. Liam can play, so how hard can it be? <laughs> T! Rip. Go, T, go! I'm <clears throat> betting it on it going in the yeah. tree. Oh. Tree, tree, tree. Kick it! Do it! Ah, you <laughs> fucked it up, Bobo. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's a handball. Oh, poor Pablo. Ah. 
That's low key sad as fuck though. Like what the hell? We're about to, we're about to take a ride on the field train. It's not exactly what I expected, but I feel like this is where we're going with this. Is he looking at pictures of his dead parents? He's looking at pictures of his dead parents. You know, this is not not cool. Oh, this is a million miles not cool. Bad luck, boy. Oh, Almost hell no. Total. You've already sent this off? Yeah, good day. Toby's the lad at the dumping ground, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Duh, you told me to use things around me for inspiration. Yeah, but when Toby goes outside, birds stop singing and dogs begin to howl. <laughs> I know, funny. <laughs> Well, do you think he'll find it funny? Ugh, so negative. And as if he's even gonna read it. None of them do. He's gonna read it. And even if he does, he's gonna know I'm joking. No, he's not. Aight, are you alright? Bad luck, boy. Could have been a black cat. Shut up. How do you voodoo? <laughs> the curse of the mummy. Mm. <laughs> the curse of the no mummy. Toby. <laughs> You done fucked up, Tracy. That ain't cool. Tracy, because you wrote Toby was bad luck boy, I found some things out. Black cats are unlucky, but also really lucky. Cross you read my column. Everyone did. And that's why you took the mick out of him. Oh, great. Well, you wrote it. I was being ironic. Bitch. Funny. Bitch. Except that his mum and dad were killed in a car crash. What? Ah. Which isn't funny, actually. Didn't you even know that? No. That's a big yikes. We were just mucking around. We didn't mean it. It's like, we've all had bad luck. Especially all of us in here. That's why people are gonna try and rip it out of you. The thing is, by Tracy making him to bad luck boy, she's made Toby famous. Or mind if Tracy wrote a book about me? Being famous ain't necessarily a good thing, sweetheart. What do you think? I think you put too much on. Rip. Anyway, what's the big deal about Toby's parents? My mum died. No one made a big deal about that. Yikes. You should tell Tracy she'll make a book about that. I don't want her to. <laughs> My mum died. She's not coming back. So here we are, in the story. <laughs> you look like a clown. <laughs> Can I wash it off? I imagine that girl has some deep riddle emotional Foster issues. Care work. No, you deep can't. Riddle. Poor lad. See why he blames himself for the crash. Yeah. And is this the woman who fostered him? Talk about lightning striking twice. Ah! Unbelievable. Yeah, a bit of sensitivity is what's called for for our boy Toby. Uh. Scott's visiting this afternoon. It's bound to be a little tense. You done fucked up, woman. Like big time. Now he's like extra sad. Tell Mike and Gina I'm not gonna see those people. Why? Because what you wrote was right. No, it wasn't. I didn't know about your mum and dad. Really, I didn't. I was trying to be ironic. I really means. I know what it means. You do? It means saying one thing but meaning the other. Basically. So by calling me bad luck boy, you meant I was good luck boy? No, she just doesn't know what irony no, means I... herself. She's making up fucking words. I meant you could be good luck boy. If you stop believing you're a bad luck boy. You see, I think that you're scared that if you like the Scots, then something bad's gonna happen. But you need to face those fears. Somebody getting stabbed? Oh my god. 
Oh, I'm flushing down the plug hole then. Killing the spider's bad luck. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. It's just a tiny little. <laughs> <laughs> Oh lord. It's okay, it's okay, I will deal with it. Do it. Get it out, just get rid of it. It's so hairy, it's huge as well. It's probably made a huge web just inside the plug hole. Don't get too close, it can move really <clears> fast. <throat> No balls. You can get it if you really want. Fly like the wind. You can get it if you really want. You can get it if you really want. But you must try. Try and try. Take it, get the try try. Thank you. you succeeded. Were you scared? Good thing it wasn't poisonous. No, of course she wasn't. I... No! No! And do you know why? Because you fall of shit. It, I realised it was all in the mind. And mm -hmm. it just tickled. <laughs> After that, I wasn't scared anymore. Uh oh, the Scottish people are here. Flee! Toby, flee, Toby, flee! Foster parents. Toby doesn't want them. T this is our chance. Oh, okay. you evil hush. <laughs> Y'all serious? Did Toby come in here? Yes. Can I ask you something? Where is he? Is Toby really bad luck, boy? No. Dip! Go, Toby! Because in my book it says 13 is an unlucky number. That doesn't make sense. Tracy, I, I think all numbers under 20 are unlucky somewhere. Where's Toby? But how can that be when they're lucky somewhere else? Shut up! There's no such thing as unlucky numbers or lucky ones. So why does everyone believe in them? Because the whole world is wrong. <laughs> Toby! <laughs> That's, yeah, no. Toby! Toby! Go away! Oh, Toby, you gave away your position! This. They're a really nice couple. It's a really good opportunity. For something really bad to happen. Toby, you gave away your position. No, Toby. What you need to know is, there's no such thing as jinxes, curses, or bad omens. That's what you think. It's just something to blame when bad things happen. It's not real. Living with the Scots, that could be real. It's all when my mum and dad. He's um, probably a bit nervous too. <sighs> He's in the woods. Hi, I'm Johnny. And I'm T. Oh, right. <laughs> no, that really is my name. Big yikes. Would you like one? The from a new tin? No. Johnny? <laughs> Johnny wants to get the fuck I out of there. I call oh, the crap. name. That's why they drove off in a temper. That's why they crashed. No, Toby. It wasn't your fault. It was. Toby, listen. Nothing will ever bring your mum and dad back. But if they could see you now, they'd want you to be happy. To give the Scots a chance. Toby, whatever happens in life, mostly it's up to us. Not chance or fate or whatever. You don't lose out on the good just because you're scared of the bad. Come on. I want to show you something. There ought to be another book you wrote. Now, walking under a ladder is meant to be unlucky, yeah? Well, we could walk under this ladder a hundred times and nothing bad is going to... Somebody's fucking dumb. Pair of idiots.
when you don't want to cry, so you laugh instead. That was stupidity. Are you ready to meet the Scots? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, I think our guests have had enough tea, yeah? Get these midgets out of here. The teacups. Of course. Ungrateful ass. Very tidy, especially me. Cut your hair. Actually, I wanted to talk, but you know. He's not in the room. Where's Toby? I'm sure he won't be long. Where's in the Toby? meantime, this just came. I thought it might amuse you. One of our team writes a column. We were name checked last week. Shall we see what she has to say? Oh, God! <laughs> this is Toby. Hello. We just had an accident. Oh, that was bad luck. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was stupidity. <laughs> we were under a ladder and... Oh, well... That definitely was bad luck, then. I'll say, you don't go walking under ladders. <laughs> Nothing is going right! It might be a good idea to go and get cleaned up. On our way. Toby just wanted to say oh, hi and see you in a minute. Don't read the column! Please, God! Sure you're okay? Yeah. Get cleaned up. All right. <laughs> Bye. Aha! <laughs> you little bitch. I'm um, going somewhere. Yeah. What's it got to do with you? What do you think? I was one that said let's build up some trust. You can trust me. Sure. Last time it was Amsterdam. What's next? Join the circus. That was my dad's fault. Yeah, right. <laughs> and you shouldn't even be here. You're all supposed to be downstairs with those people come for Toby. Well, I guess that's just your bad luck. It was your choice what you did. So don't try and blame your dad. My dad? I don't give a stuff about him. I probably won't even see him. Go with Ferris. Who? My boyfriend. So what was all that I never see my dad stuff about then? I was trying to help you. Don't pretend you care. Look, get out of my way or get paint on my clothes. You are not going anywhere. Cut! I'm going to have to lock you inside here myself. Then give me the tickets. Give me the tickets! Fine! Satisfied? Yes. Wank asshole. I'm sorry, Toby. You might need a new shirt, bud. I need your help! Please! Sorry. The fuck? Right, you sure you want to do this? I need to know what's going to happen in the future. Oh, with these God. People. Look. Just because some people believe these tell the future doesn't mean it's true. No, it's not. But it might be. You ain't get pain on your bed, but you're kind of a bitch, so you deserve it. Those Yu Gi Oh cards? Pick one. Anyone you like. This bitch trying to use Yu Gi Oh to tell the future. Well, let's see it then. Death. Unhappy face. This poor fucking kid. Flee! Toby, wait! Ah, you're wrecked. Toby! No, no, Toby, listen to me. That car doesn't mean what you think. What have you done now? Look who's talking. Shut the Toby. fuck up! They found Toby. He was hiding in the garden. He thinks he's all bad luck boy because he's on his own, but so are you, and I never get to see my mum, do I? We're all on our own. Well, I've got these two. And we've got you. Let Sapphire explain about the death card. <laughs> no one dies or anything. It's all about turning over a new leaf. Leaving the old you behind. Is she lying? What's wrong with the old me? 
Nothing. Eh, what's going on? Just a minute, Jane. If your mum and dad could talk to you now, what would they say? They'd say give life another chance. How do you know? Do what you want to do. Oh God, uh, no! She has an article to Tracy. Oh, oh here, here he is. Oh, got your little friends with that old paint. We thought you might like something new to listen to. We hope you like it because we're not sure sure what stuff you like. Thanks. The thing is. Well, maybe one day we'll get to find out. Eh? Thing is. Somebody's about to get rejected. Are you nervous about meeting you? In case it all goes wrong. Then Tracy said, I should go for what I really want. And all of a sudden, I realised something massive. No. I don't want to get fostered. Revelations! Well, that's that! Come on, Toby. Not yet. Shut the fuck up. I thought I sort of had to, but I don't, do I? Technically, That's no. That's what you mean. That's what you mean. That's what you want, Toby. It feels good here. I want to stay here with everyone. Yeah, I do. For definite. Is that okay? Fuck yeah, it is. Oh. Yes, Toby. Bye, sorry for wasting your time. Come on. At least we don't. <laughs> they make the kid pay rent. <laughs> you okay, Tobes? Saf. Jean and I have had a word, and we know that you're anxious to go to this concert tonight, so what about if you go with Tracy? That what about if you ripped up the tickets? And we'd be prepared to accept that. Because somebody's a whiny bitch! Hmm? Okay, yeah. My tickets! No! I knew it was the minions! Get fucked by the minions. Ooh! How tall do you think I am? Can I join in? Knock that bitch in a tree. Come on, Toby. Do it on purpose this time, though. has a wholesome ending. The car just fucking comes in. It's like that fucking Irish commercial where cars steamrolled the kids at the end of commercials 5. Alright. Well, good thing it didn't go that fucking... that fucking route. My lord, that was an unexpected wave of emotions one, huh? I did not expect to fucking get a ride on the field train in this one. My lord. That was... That, oh, that was a lot more than I expected to feel. I feel I felt so fucking bad for Toby. But I guess it had a help, happy ending because he truly decided what he really wanted and then he played football and they didn't fuck anything up. But that poor fucking kid, dude. That got so much realer than I expected it to. From what's technically a kid show, is it? I mean, it's on CBBC, Children's BBC. It's technically a kid show. That is way fucking... fucking. And, and, and I mean, back back, you know... Back in like the two thousands and or even earlier, obviously, um, like they like it seems, it seems like starting in the two thousand tens is when kid shows just started to turn to mush, you know. Like kid shows didn't you even even in America, same here, didn't used to be afraid to tackle real issues, 
And I don't know if the same thing has happened in the UK, but here, just kids shows now, especially starting this decade, have just turned into like, just they're just nothing. Like that's the best way I can explain it. It's just mindless fucking nothing. You know, I mean, they used to have at least like stories and interesting characters and tackled real issues, and now it's just, it's just fucking nothing. Like that's just what it is now, and it's a shame. But it's it, so that's why it's you know refreshing to see a show like this because it reminds me of the kid shows i used to watch as a kid um luckily i don't have to subject myself to a lot of those nothing shows nowadays because i haven't i haven't had cable in like four years but you know how it is what what you want okay you know what we're gonna take a quick break real quick we're gonna do a staring contest here look up no 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 look look at me look at me okay you know what? here ready three two one go Damn it. All right. She's really good at those. Um, but yeah, that was tremendous. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I hope you guys liked it too. Um, there was a third spinoff show called The Dumping Ground. I'm not sure if that one's any good. If you guys wanted me to check that one out as well, I possibly could. Um, although I think that one's just BBC and not CBBC, so I might actually have some issues with that one. But I can get away with this with this one. But yep, yeah, that is going to do it, you guys, for my reaction today for uh, two, I should say, Tracy Beaker Returns. There's another reaction video that has been a highly, highly, highly requested reaction video that I see recorded yesterday. But uh, as expected, it was copyright blocked, but I'm waiting to see if I can get the block removed. If I can, that will go up whenever it's removed. If I can't, I'm going to re-edit it. If it's not really re-editable, then it might just have to go up on Vimeo. So if you're not following me on Vimeo, the link to my Vimeo is in the description. Be sure to follow that. But that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, come on, kitty, is going to do it for... Sorry, baby. You alright? You good? You good? There we go. Okay. That's going to do it for my reaction to Tracy Beaker Returns. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, you can be sure to press the like button. If you didn't like it, that's okay. Not everybody's like, every, gotta like everybody and everything. You press the dislike button if you want to. But if you don't think I'm Queen Pastor once the ground for a while, you go to the future on the channel. Be sure to press the subscribe button if you want to see what it's going to be posted daily on the channel. Check the link in the description for the blog on WordPress.com. If you want to check my Twitch, where I stream every single day, link that as I'll say in the description, as well as to my second channel, Free 16 Reviews, which I should be posting on in a couple days, and as well as my Twitter and my Patreon. If you want to support me, that being said, though, my name is Taffrey 16. This has been my reaction to Tracy Beaker Returns. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye, guys. Goodbye. Bye.